The sound of jet engines roars across Turkey showing a new time for Turkish military airplanes. Turkey, known for its important location and growing industries, has joined a special group countries that can build fifth-generation fighter jets. This is the ambitious CAN program. This isn't just national pride, it shows Turkey wants more control over its military and wants to be a bigger player in the world. For many years, Turkey depended on other countries, especially the United States, for advanced military equipment. This often meant Turkey had to follow rules set by these countries limiting what it could do in the world. The Ka'an project led by Turkish Aerospace Industries TAI, and overseen by the Turkish Defense Industries Presidency SSB, shows Turkey's goal to be independent. Turkey decided to build its own fifth-generation fighter jet because it had to and because it wanted to. When Turkey was removed from the F-35 program in 2019, after buying the Russian S-400 missile system, it showed the problems of depending on other countries. The KN program is Turkey's answer, a strong statement that it will make its own decisions in a world that's becoming more uncertain. The risks are big, but Turkey is used to challenges. The KON project uses Turkey's many years of experience building airplanes, its growing defense industry, and a plan that goes beyond its borders. This isn't just about making a fighter jet, it's about making a future where Turkey is a leader in technology and a major force in the world. The KN, first shown to the world in an amazing first flight on February 21, 2024, shows how smart Turkish engineers are. This smooth, twin-engine fighter jet is fast, agile and hard to see on radar, making it one of the most advanced warplanes in the world. But the Khan is more than just a list of impressive features. It shows a new way of thinking about air combat, one that mixes new technology with flexibility and strategic planning. The Khan is designed to be ahead of its time. While it's called a fifth-generation fighter, it has features usually found in sixth-generation aircraft, like the option to fly with or without a pilot, and the ability to use future energy weapons. This forward-thinking design makes sure the Ka'an will be a powerful force for many years, able to handle new threats and use new technologies as they come along. Besides its impressive hardware, the Ka'an is built to work well with Turkey's growing number of unmanned aerial vehicles UAVs, especially the famous Bayraktar TV-2. This idea of manned and unmanned aircraft working together, a key part of future warfare, Let's the Kayan act as a control center in the sky, guiding groups of drones in coordinated attacks and intelligence missions. This networked way of fighting makes the Kayan even more powerful and harder to destroy, making it a true force multiplier on the battlefield. The Kayan can do more than just fight, its advanced sensors and computers give it an amazing view of the battlefield, letting it be a key part of a larger network-centric warfare environment. This makes the Ka'an perfect for many missions, from controlling the air and attacking ground targets, to electronic warfare and reconnaissance. Its flexibility makes it a valuable tool for any modern military. The Ka'an project isn't just about Turkey doing things on its own, it's also about working with other countries. Seeing how important this new aircraft is, several countries want to join the program, hoping to improve their own defenses and learn from Turkey's growing knowledge of aerospace technology. Azerbaijan, a close friend of Turkey, was the first country to officially join the Ka'an program in July 2023. This shows the growing defense relationship between the two countries and Azerbaijan's desire to modernize its air force with a top-of-the-line fighter jet. Pakistan, another important country in the region with a long history of working with Turkey on defense, is also talking about joining the program, seeing how the Ka'an can make its air force stronger. Perhaps the most important international development has been the strong interest from Saudi Arabia, a powerful country in the region that wants to buy military equipment from more places and depend less on Western suppliers. Reports say Saudi Arabia might buy as many as 100 KN fighter jets, a deal that would help both countries' economies and make their strategic partnership stronger. The UAE, known for its big plans to modernize its military, is also a possible partner in the KN project. While the details of the UAE's involvement are still being discussed, reports say it might focus on building parts, using its advanced factories to help make this advanced fighter jet. This collaboration would further strengthen the growing defense industry ties between Turkey and the UAE. The Turkish Khan fighter jet is more than just a cool piece of technology, it shows how the world's power is shifting. It shows that Turkey is becoming a major player in the global defense industry, 
and that it wants to make its own way in a world with many centers of power. The KAN's advanced capabilities and the chance for other countries to work on it, will change how wars are fought in the future. First, the Ka'an program shows that more countries want to build their own weapons. As old security agreements change and competition between countries grows, countries like Turkey don't want to depend on other countries for important military equipment. The Ka'an project is an example for other nations that want to build their own defenses and not rely on others. Second, the CAN's focus on networked warfare and having manned and unmanned aircraft work together shows how air combat is changing. The days of single fighter jets fighting each other are ending. The future is about networked platforms like the CAN, which can easily work with drones, sensors, and other equipment to create a powerful and deadly battle space. This networked way of fighting allows smaller countries to have more power and stop bigger countries from attacking. Finally, the international cooperation on the Cayenne project shows how important it is for countries to work together in a world that is more connected. As countries face similar security problems from terrorism to competition between powerful nations, they are working more with countries that have the same goals to share resources, knowledge, and technology. The Turkish Ka'an fighter jet is more than just a symbol of Turkish technology. It shows a new era in warfare. As the Ka'an flies, it carries the hopes of a nation that wants to make its own future and help shape